to enter the largest and most beautiful tomb in all of ancient Egypt. It is home to the soul and spirit of Queen Nefertari, wife of Ramses the Great from Egypt's 19th dynasty. Her tomb houses seven chambers. Nearly every surface was decorated with vibrant colors. Even the ceiling is illuminated with stars representing the heavens. Queen Nefertari, unlike most queens, participated in civil and government matters, and her ability to read and write made her one of the most gifted queens in ancient Egyptian history. With one of the most decorative tombs, it is clear to see that she was made a living goddess during her lifetime. The walls are illustrated with scriptures from the ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, ensuring the queen's safe passage to the afterlife. Although he is not pictured, Ramses the Great's love for the queen shines throughout her tomb with poetry engraved into walls of this beautiful sacred place. Upon discovery of this hidden wonder, her sarcophagus and mummy were stolen along with other artifacts in the tomb. Even though her tomb is empty, it remains as one of the essential windows into the ancient past. As you explore through the tomb, you will encounter multiple paintings which offer additional information about the tomb and its inhabitants. Press the trigger on your left controller when the glowing grid appears around a painting to learn more about the gods and goddesses who guided the queen on her journey to the afterlife. The goddess in this painting is Neith. She is an ancient creator goddess, identified by her headdress, which is two bows and a shield. Neith was both a patron goddess of war and hunting, as well as the creative practice of weaving. Her ancient cult center was in the delta in Lower Egypt. Ramesses II's family is thought to have come from Lower Egypt. This is a version of the falcon god Horus, who is the son of Isis and Osiris. Here, he is called Horus Lunmutef, or Horus the pillar of his mother. This figure's clothes tell us of his role in Nefertari's tomb. Here, he is dressed in a leopard garment, the ceremonial dress of a priest performing rituals. The seated figure on the left is the goddess Nephthys. You can tell by her head, which is made of two hieroglyphics. The top symbol, which looks like a bowl, means lady, and the bottom rectangular symbol means mansion. So she is the lady of the mansion. The next two figures are the sons of Horus. They are Kebisenuf, with the head of a falcon, and Happy, with the head of a baboon. The sons of Horus are also the protectors of the mummy's internal organs. That is why their heads are seen on canopic jars. Hmm. 